guys, here's some more advice. When you have a fraction plus or minus another fraction, first thing you should do is get a common denominator. So your lowest common denominator for this one is going to be sin x cos x. So that means we're going to multiply this one with cos x and we're going to multiply this one with sin x. But first, let's say what side we're working on. We're going to work on the left-hand side. So we're going to have sin 3x times cos x minus cos 3x times sin x over the lowest common denominator, which is sin x cos x. Now, if you look carefully at the top, can you see that this is a compound angle? So that's a times. So it's sin cos minus cos sin. Here it is, sin cos minus cos sin. How cool is that? So we're going to make it simplified now. And so that's going to end up becoming sin of 3x minus x over sin x cos x. And so at the top, we're just going to have sin 2x. And then at the bottom, we're going to have sin x cos x. Now, there's multiple ways to go from here, but I mean, one of the ways you could do this is to realize that this is a double angle. And so you can just expand it into 2 sin x cos x at the top. And then at the bottom, we just have sin x cos x. And then everything cancels. So that cancels, that cancels, that cancels, that cancels. And so we're left with an answer of 2. And so therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. At this step here, you could have done it in a slightly different way if you wanted to. I'll quickly show you what I mean. You could do that method that we did in one of our previous questions where you multiply top and bottom by 2. So then you would get that and that. And then this part here, you would then turn into sin 2x. So it would have given you 2 sin 2x over sin 2x. And then those would have cancelled. And then you're still going to end up with 2. Okay, so sometimes there's more than one way to do it and then you can choose whatever you're comfortable with.